I'm excited to chat with you. <laughs> I'm excited to um, chat okay. with you, especially when I saw your question. You have a dating question. Oh Those my are some gosh. of our favorite yeah. questions. Especially when she starts out okay. by saying, oh my gosh, <laughs> rolling her eyes. Oh yeah. my gosh. All right. All right. So what what's he okay. doing? What's so, he doing? What's this guy doing? Okay. So COVID, right? Um made me start yeah. reading i found your bound your your dating book and it wrecked me yeah. in a very good way <laughs> so yeah. um so i'm 37 <laughs> very much grew up in the i kiss dating goodbye generation oh, and I'm so sorry. then of course yeah i'm not kidding you that's how i feel now I'm so, so <laughs> yeah so um oh. so i took even during covid took your message to heart started very much like releasing a lot of my, I have these 15 standards that I need to find in a man before I'll even start communicating, right? Like it was just, so got online, How's got on a lot of dating sites. <laughs> Obviously I'm 37, still single, never been married. So it doesn't work very well. <laughs> um, so I think I will go um, into the dark recesses of a fortress and build 75 moats around me <laughs> with fences and alligators and, you know, and stay away, stay away, I'm and, not and kidding garlic you. That's and everything what I else. did. <laughs> I believe you. You were taught to do that, probably uh, in some ways. I know. Yeah. So, so hey, um, you know what? I, You're young, though. You're young. Uh, yes, yes. I'm. I'm. I very much am the person who is just like, okay, I believe everything happens for a reason. The Lord obviously knew hey, this was nothing big to him, but <laughs> think of, think of all the train wrecks that you avoided. By never getting on a train. <laughs> or maybe they avoided train, me as a train. train wreck. Who knows? <laughs> well, it could have been, you know, mutual benefit there. So tell me what your yeah, question yeah. is. I love the path okay. you're on. It so, sounds like now. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. It's, a, it's pretty great to be meeting people and stuff. Thank so you. During COVID. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Everybody out there trashing. <laughs> oh, dating. It. Come on. It could be like the, it's a great sport. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, I think uh, um, in my brain, right, I feel like um, I feel very much like it means that you have to go, you know, do dating like the world sees dating. And that's not how I see it. But it's very freeing to just be able to meet new people and Wait a minute, start how, evaluating you like your book talks about. See dating is how um, the like, world Because I come from a Christian perspective, right? And so dating to me um in the I kiss dating goodbye generation, they very much made it, you know, they very much made it out to be the, these games you play and, you know, and it's a sinful thing or something to be playing with people's hearts or, you know, things like that. No, so um, to go date now, look, to look, date and be like, look. oh, they're a grown man. He can, you know, make his own decisions. I'm getting to know him just like he's getting to know me, you know, so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And how about this for all the Bible people out there? I think the way you have everything healthy is to make a bunch of rules. Why don't you instead <laughs> live according to what the scripture says, which is be honest. Okay. Just be honest. Mm -hmm. You say to somebody, <laughs> I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I'd like to go to dinner. I'd like to go to a movie or I'd like to get to know you. Maybe I'll, you know, mm -hmm. why don't you just be honest? If you're not seductive <laughs> and you're not flattering and you're not controlling, then you don't need to live behind a fence. And I'm going to go on a rant if I get started. So calm. <laughs> Stop that. All right. Yep. Everything you just said, that's in my head too. Yep. So we're on the, we're on the same track. <laughs> yes. So, um, <laughs> so I have probably dated even during COVID 20, 25 guys, either in person safely, right? Because of COVID yeah. or online getting to meet them right so whole that's new not, ball game not, the last nine that's months not a of bad, my life that's so, not a bad week no no <laughs> so um so i met this guy um in the beginning of january and yeah. i am very much still you know with talking to people and everything online and he just knocked it out of the park as far as character integrity things like that we start talking about our faith eventually and he starts Telling me that when he's was Catholic this? and he. When was this? January, very beginning of January. Beginning of January, knocked it out of the park. How mm -hmm. do you not? Now I want to just ask you a question. 
how do you knock it out in the knock it out of the park with integrity in a month? <laughs> Um, I think just, yeah, not, no, he's told me, right. I live a life of integrity character. I'm like, great. Well, that can only be seen right during the dating process. He's like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you know, very, yeah. So, yeah. yeah so, so he, you know, he very if, much if, just if he's, has a lot of character qualities you, that he if says. If says to you, he's got integrity, then <laughs> here's what I want you to, here's what I want you to say back. That sounds okay. great. I look forward to seeing it in action that's exactly what i said though and he's like wow okay well okay i look forward to showing you you know like <laughs> i can't know it unless i see it right so you sure he's can. in the bay area i'm in i'm in nevada so we're four or five hours away from each other so he has come here twice for two weekends in a row two weeks apart oh. from each other uh-huh and so um he got a hotel down the street from my house like we he spent the whole weekend just he very much is the kind of guy that I'm looking for. Here's what my question is. He is Catholic and I grew up in a Baptist church, very pro, you know, we, we, we connect in so many ways that I'm honestly not even interested in going online, right? I haven't quit all my dating sites and things like that because I believe in your process and still getting to know him. But when I say something about God, he's quiet yeah. and intellectual and, I'm used to people being like, oh, God showed me that too today. Or, you know, so when we start talking about faith, he, yeah. he's just like, faith, I, I, I grew up in the Catholic faith and, and I believe that I'm a Christian. I believe, I know when you tell me what it looks like to be saved, I believe I've accepted God in my heart. But he says little things like, well, I believe in God and Jesus. And, and it throws me for, right, right there's these different terminologies yeah. in our faith. And I've always pictured right like being with somebody who is of a similar faith who talks the same way and it's not a bad thing i really am attracted to him because he's different from me right but well, so is his faith I, I need real? your counsel <laughs> is his faith real it, it for very him, much or is it just like in it. response to you because the example you um, gave me is like when you've talked about it then he kind of responds but if you weren't in his life what would his faith look like i that's what I asked him. And I said, you know, tell me what life looks like for you in your life. And he very much says life to him as a Christian, as a Catholic is, is him believing that he can say much more with his life and his example than he can with words. When I pressed him, he said, faith in 41 years, because he's 41, he's like, no one has ever asked me to explain my faith in God. And I find it incredibly attractive, your relationship with God. And it's challenging me in a lot of ways. Right. Right. But I need you to know this is not normal for me. And I was just like, okay, Great. but so I'm- I yeah. like that. So I'm- <laughs> I Honesty. Really honesty, honesty, yes. honesty, honesty. He's being honest. He goes, I don't know what you're talking about, but I like it. I'm interested in it. Tell me more. <laughs> Right. Yes. And so we, I'm not kidding you. He'll talk with me for an hour and a half about my faith in God, awesome. questions I have about his life. So I guess, so what, Henry, so my question, question is, I'm a, yes. <laughs> so my that's question right. is, as I date him, and I have no intention of stopping dating him right now, because I haven't seen any huge red flags or anything. As I date him, what are the things from your perspective from Christian, right? I believe we're both Christians. I have Catholic friends who love the Lord, right? I need to know what kind of things to look for in an outside perspective. Oh, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, for... hold on one second. Hold on one second. And I don't mean this to, in terms of dating him or not dating him or stop dating him or judging him. Okay. But you just said something that may be telling, and I want to, I want to understand it. You, you said, you okay. said, um, I, I believe he's a Christian. I have Catholic friends that are. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. So why do you, why do you believe he's a Christian? I'm not I judging or not judging. I'm just curious. No, no, no. That's okay. It's a good question. Um, so I believe he's, I believe he's a Christian because of the way that I've seen him living his life in the seven days that I've seen him in person and the two months almost that we've been dating, right. And talking every day for multiple hours, right. The way he handles himself, the way he talks about his So faith you're, you're judging, deep, but it's just no, no, very no, small. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm going to take the, how he lives his life and put it over here. Okay. Okay. Because 
because that's not what defines a Christian. That's what gives evidence and testimony that somebody may be. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who live incredibly moral lives and wonderful lives of giving and love and sacrifice who live much more like the Bible says a Christian ought to live than a lot of Christians do. But that's not what makes somebody a Christian. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that the, if you, what I would, might be a good discussion with them, just to, there's a couple of simple, simple, simple places. Look at the book of First John. And I would go read the book of First John together. It's very, very clear. It says, he who believes in the Son, he who has the Son has the life. He who believes that in his that he is the Son of God, right? Has mm -hmm. his spirit. Okay, go to Romans chapter 10, I think it's 10, 9 or 10, where very, very simple question. If you believe okay, that he is who he said he was, right? If you confess him mm -hmm. as your God and as your Lord and you believe, it says that God raised him from the dead, then you are a Christian. And that will be evidenced by what you're talking about by the life. So that's not a hard question. I'm not saying date him or don't, not say him. I'm just saying that's not a mm -hmm. hard thing to determine. You just ask, what do you believe about Jesus? What do you believe? How are you planning on being forgiven when you go before God? That's what, that's kind of like, that's the deal, right? That kind of is the deal. Bob refers to it as being born yeah. of the spirit. So that's where that might be a good good conversation to have <laughs> if you're trying to determine that. Mm -hmm. But yes, it's I was really just going point. off one phrase there, right? So past all that, yeah. What's no, your question? Good. I love what you um, said. I love I love this relationship. <laughs> I don't think after a month and a half that you're ready to, you know, you know, you know, put the ink on the paper, but oh yeah, you no. Know. <laughs> I'm not. And he knows that, which is, I think, intriguing to him. But I'm just like, you need to know this whole dating thing. This is new kind of thing. And so I very much have been just 100 percent honest with him. Like, I am not in any way ready to call you my boyfriend. We are dating. We are getting to know each other. If you're committing to come here and spending money in my books, that looks like a commitment. So you need to know I'm OK with getting to know each other on <laughs> FaceTime or something, you know, like. <laughs> I don't want. To I, I think you ought to start holding seminars. I think you ought to start start coaching <laughs> coaching other women. So, what is, is your question? I need a question brain. because we're running out of time. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> I think question? honestly, Henry, you answered it. I need to have uh, my question was how can I tell the how can I get down to the nitty gritty in our faith and find out more deep things about whether or not he truly is a Christian, the, the kind of man of God that I'm looking for. So, well, now, I think I just need second. to hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. Do you remember in my book, I got a chapter in there, should I date a non-Christian? If I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that chapter? I do. <laughs> you do? Yes. <laughs> what do you remember? Uh, I remember being very confused when I read it. <laughs> That's what, what every author me. waits. You know, we just long to hear that. I read your book and it just confused the heck out of me. Look. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> you see, you see this stuff all the time. If you, this is why when I talk about dating, the whole thing, it's very important to see the whole thing as a system, right? If, mm -hmm. if you're dating to getting to know people, Right. And I said, if you're, mm -hmm. you know, it's see, what people do is they find this one person, keep dating them. And that's the one person. And then that doesn't work. They go to the next one instead of their dating a lot of people and somebody stands out in the crowd. Well, if you're if you're getting mm -hmm. to know him and you're not signing up for marriage or exclusivity or anything like that, and you're getting to know him then and you're not in danger. It's like an alcoholic going into a bar. Right. If you're if you're not 
you know, in danger of falling in love and, you know, selling your life to this person, then, then why wouldn't anybody get to know people of all sorts of faiths or all sorts of backgrounds? Is that no, because you're not signing up for life. That's the whole problem with the dating to find the mate, you know, people. Mm -hmm. You're getting to know him, right? So when you say, if he's the kind of man, blah, 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 that you want. Okay. I'm not, if you're, <laughs> if you're safely not giving your heart away, right. And getting enmeshed mm -hmm. in this thing and you can't get out and all that, then I, I know so many people, I can tell you famous, famous, famous Christian evangelists and, and authors and all of that, that, met somebody who they had a nascent faith the other person and they believed they just never had been around enough people that live in the scriptures that that talk about the deep spiritual life that said felt and it was actually through dating the person that they came to really take their next steps of faith okay mm -hmm. and so that that could happen. But what, what is important, I mean, I have family members that I, I, people I worry, I mean, this happens all the time, all the time, but it happens because you don't move to morph and become somebody you're not just so you can have yeah. him. You're the person that you are and you invite him to learn more and talk about more about faith. And then sometimes, and I've seen this a gazillion times, Sometimes they just catch on fire and they become, but it's got to be his own quest. Yeah. Because he's being exposed to it. So, so he's not across the finish line. Now, I don't care as long as you're not going across the finish line with him, that he might find <laughs> something in the reality of who Jesus is and what a real day to day faith is looks like and feels like in his experience and the life that he has to offer that he might find and begin to talk about it in a way he's never talked about it before that's so what that's great yeah so you Just don't see don't. that as me like if i keep dating him and he's not as serious about his faith but you really see that god is moving in his life you don't see that as unhealthy for me to be dating a guy who is learning or growing a ton at the same time. I don't want a project, but I also know that God works in really huge ways that we don't expect. Right. So totally, totally. I just don't want okay. you. I don't want you becoming unequally yoked is the phrase. You're not yoked. Yeah. If you're, if you're lying no. to me and you're yoked, <laughs> you're not telling me you're nope. yoked, then everything I said is null and void. Right. So, so, right. I mean, I have, um, gosh, you can think of a thousand contexts where we have relationships with people that we're not alike in a lot of different ways. But the more we begin to share, we do begin to be more alike from as iron sharpening iron, sharpens iron, our relationships with one another. And you might find, just like the sun comes up, and is it? daylight yet no is it oh it's morning <laughs> that might happen that might happen that might happen here it might not you just can't mm -hmm. let yourself and there's a danger here if your heart gets involved so you be careful but you can't let yourself begin to become less of yourself in order to be with him that's death okay mm -hmm. So yeah. if you want a life okay. and a lifelong partner that is sharing your faith, like other things you would want your lifelong partner to share, like your values and your way, ways you look at life and whether you want to have kids or not and all that kind of stuff. If you mm -hmm. were to, if you were to, if you were to go too far in this relationship to where, you know, if you decide to like marry him and you can't really have togetherness in your faith, that becomes a big empty trail for a lot of people. They feel very spiritually yeah. alone. I would I would hate to be in a spiritually alone marriage. And a lot of people are. And the Bible speaks mm -hmm. of that. And, and we try to help. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. of <laughs> what I well, don't, don't do it. 
You don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I'm why afraid your jumping out of airplanes. Lot, like you, the things you've I'm said. I'm afraid of jumping out of airplanes. Thinking, yeah. <laughs> so I jumped out of an airplane once. I I would do it again in the right circumstances, but <laughs> when I'm flying on a commercial airliner, I don't go up to the door and open it and jump out. You don't have to do that. Yeah. Right. Okay. You just stay. Thanks, Henry. Yep. That's okay. what I need to hear. <laughs> invite him. Invite him. Invite him. I don't. No, I'm not going to get serious. You know, if we're in big, big, big different places, but I sure would love for you to see what <laughs> see what I see. I was blind and now I see. Come see this guy who did it. Yeah. Take yeah. him to your church. He's saying Take things like, you're your... a unicorn. I, you are the woman I'm like looking for. And I'm like, hold your horse, this buddy. Like, I'm not there, you know? So. There yeah. you go. There you go. All right. I got to run. Yeah.